Well, hello, and Happy New Year. We're in 2022, wow. While I'm not one to be super New Year's heavy, I do always appreciate a just kind of arbitrary uh, cleaning of the slate and having a fresh restart. I think that's always good no matter what. And so if it is at the beginning of the year, even if it feels cliche, it's still a good opportunity to recalibrate, recenter yourself and refocus. And so I am going to do a little bit of that myself. Doing that personally, of course, and I'll probably end up sharing some of that stuff with you, but what I'm doing right here, right now, the focus of this is that I'm going to be sharing every day in January. What is the purpose of this? The purpose of this is simply showing up. This is a commitment to myself and to you that I will be here on camera, on YouTube, every single day. The, the impact of doing something like this is often understated. This is the reason that 30-day challenges and stuff like that work. If done correctly, the idea here is that, like, so in, in order to do this in a way that is actually meaningful and is worth the, like, 30-day challenge type of thing is that it's to build a muscle. It is to get used to the process and to get better at process and showing up as opposed to outcomes. Outcomes are great. If you want to consider those, go for it. But the way that I'm doing this here is simply as a process focus. All my plan is for these next 30 days is to turn on the camera, talk a little bit, go back, edit it, and put it on up. And so I'm expecting each day of this to look pretty different depending on what's going on. Some days I might pop in literally for a two to three minutes just to get on the camera and check that box because again, this is a showing up thing. This is the purpose of it, is to show up. It's not to have some beautiful uh, like edited videos. It's not to have some eloquent message for you and while I'm always gonna try to do that because that's just the way I am. Uh, that's not the purpose of this. The purpose of this is simply to show up. So some days I'm going to have those really short videos simply because it's 10 p.m. and I'm like, oh shit, I didn't film anything today and I'm going to get on and just talk to say that I did it and that's okay. And then other days, like today actually, will be one that's a little bit more edited, a little bit more vloggy, kind of like a day in my life type of thing. Uh, but yeah, it's just going, going to be a little bit go with the flow. I don't have any preconceived notions uh, as to how these things will turn out. I am really just going into it with the intention of showing up each and every day of January 2022. So with that, thanks for hanging out. I would love to hear if you have your own 30-day thing that you're doing in January. So you can go ahead and hit me up in the comments. Uh, feel free to add me on Instagram at benjamin.m.fritz. I love to connect personally there as well. But yeah, if you have anything that you're doing for January that is a process-based situation, I would love to hear it. If you even like want suggestions on how to do something like this and kind of like I was mentioning, the like pulling away from the outcome of it and focusing more so on the process it can be really uncomfortable for people. So if you have questions about that, feel free to hit me up here as well. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, if there's anything you would like to see from me in January, let me know because I would happily try to integrate that as well. But intro over, that's where I'm at. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the rest of my New Year's Day here. We started the day off with a tarot poll for Jesse. Why tarot? Well, because tarot offers a really cool way for you to get in touch with your intuition and just what's true for you right now. I'll likely do a more in-depth video on tarot soon because I find it really interesting and there are plenty of misconceptions as to what tarot is and how it should be used. 
but really this just gave us a really cool opportunity to talk about where Jessie's at, where she's going, and just gave us some time to connect in a meaningful way. From there, we left to go on a little bit of a hike. This spot is really close to us and it's easy to get to, and it's a pretty short hike around the lake, maybe a mile or so, so it's pretty easy and a really nice way for us to just get outside with the dogs and get some time in nature. All right, so we just got home from our walk. We're making lunch. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> dogs had a little bit of, well, Finn gets lunch, Cora gets a treat. Right, Finn? Finn, look. <laughs> All good boy. Uh, and then, yeah, it's literally, like, we actually made it on lunchtime today, so we're gonna do that. Jesse's gonna food prep some stuff, and then I think we're gonna do a little bit of planning, family planning. I still need to do, like, a bunch of individual stuff. I know Jesse created a vision board and, uh, maybe some other stuff the other night. So yeah, I'm gonna do some of that this afternoon and then hopefully chill a little bit too. Embody my true nature in everything I do. Share my journey and my process. Hold myself to my commitments. Make commitments intentionally. Be firm yet gentle with myself. All right, well, while I was doing my stuff here and napping. Uh, I didn't actually fall asleep. I was like half asleep, I feel like. Uh, Jessie was doing some cooking, so let's go see what she made. Lentil curry. Um, Brussels sprouts and broccoli. The inside of the chickpea quesadillas. There's also cheese sauce that's just in the fridge. And then black bean burgers. Yum. At this point, I really just wanted to take a few more minutes to sit outside and savor the kind of ridiculous weather, at least for us Midwesterners, here on New Year's Day. Just to give you a little bit of insight as to what I did when visioning and planning, I break things down into four pillars. These things I find to be very effective for big thinkers and deep feelers. I then went on to make things a little bit more specific, uh, time bound things a bit, and then create some things that I would need to do on an ongoing basis. All right, so we're here, filling up. The day is done, it's 10 o'clock, almost on the dot. I just finished Uber Eats. I was out for basically four and a half hours tonight, and I think I had my best night ever. So it's one way to start the new year. Uh, yeah, it'd be good to get that little uh, bit of income to start the week. Uh, but yeah, that's it's been my day. I'm gonna go home. I'm going to relax, talk to Jesse a little bit, and yeah, probably just chill out decompress for an hour before bedtime so that's it for day one and talk to you guys tomorrow